Along with our broadcast team of Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Aldrich, Kevin Harlan, I hope uh, you'll join us in welcoming our very special guest to the broadcast tonight, the terrific, the legendary Kobe Bryant has put on a headset and uh, placed himself in our broadcast position. Kobe, this is really terrific. Thank you for coming by. No, I'm always happy to stop by. We've got the Boston Celtics taking on the Los Angeles Lakers. And nothing tips off a broadcast like getting the lowdown from the sidelines. And we've got David Aldridge there for that. David, good evening. Well, guys, whether it's jilted fans in Utah or a player's feelings after an unwanted trade, we always hear that saying, there's no loyalty in sports. But is there any room for nuance? The leagues of business and the competition? And in any competition, there are winners and losers. Guys? Great stuff, David. Thank you. So off the tip, it's Boston. Now a chance, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. On the floor for Boston. Irving at point with Brown to his side. They're the backcourt. Jason Tatum is out there with Horford. And it's Hayward in at the small forward. Here's Irving. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Irving's got the first points on the scoreboard for Boston. Caldwell Pope kicks to Ronda. Lakers working the ball around now. Pass to Caldwell Pope. The dish to Ingram. And it's sent back by Horford. Wow, the rim protection by Horford. I mean, Al Horford standing six foot ten, always played bigger. Brown the pass to Irving. Rondo with the rebound. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. And it's Ingram missing. Even with no one on you, it's hard to shoot off balance like that. Sometimes you just got to go straight up with it. A big mistake by the DN. They got away with it. To the middle, just three on the clock, and that's two points on the layup. Not settling. Ingram uses his size and athleticism getting to the paint. Tie game in Los Angeles. We'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. Welcome back, folks. We have a close game here at the start of the second quarter of play. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? Through that first one, uh, they've turned this thing into a track beat. I'll tell you what, when you allow them to speed up the tempo, there's a good chance you're going to fall behind. Well, Kobe, I have to say it's been a real pleasure having you stop by our booth and spending some time with us for this game. Thanks again for coming by. I hope we can do it again. Uh, we will, man. Uh, it's uh, It's been a blast. There he is, folks, the great Kobe Bryant. And you know, Chris, you and Kobe both playing from the same era of the NBA. He was sharing his thoughts about current trends in the league. Do you feel it's different from when you and Kobe both played? Oh, definitely. I mean, when you look now just defensively, when we came into the game, hand checking was allowed. Then after that, zones were allowed in the game. Uh, when we first came in, you think about the three-point line of the best three-point shooters in the game. Maybe we're allowed to take two a game at that time. Now you see guys, they can let it fly six or seven times, 10 or 12 times, 15 times. So I do think that the game has changed, but I just 
just think that's great because the game has evolved. I love watching where these young players are playing and their skill sets now, and I can't wait to see where the game goes. Inside, we've got Kuzma and McGee. Lonzo Ball out there with Hart, and it's Stevenson in at the small four. That's the Laker five. Nice tip in there. I mean, he's got like a sixth sense in terms of where the miss is going to go. That is really a talent. Hayward, right side. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. Hayward's got his first points of the night. I, I like that Hayward knows exactly what to do with the ball. I mean, he gets in good position and, and lets it fly. Seventeen seconds left in the first half. Brown wide open. He fires. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Well, here's the thing. Irving draws so much attention from the defense. I mean, there's always a guy left wide open. And that's a bounce back three, and they're back in the lead. Over in the corner, Brown. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. And we're through the first half of basketball here in what's been a good one. Lakers ahead, up two. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching 2K Sports. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this. A competitive matchup for the Lakers in the first quarter. Nothing seemed to give way on either side of the scoring column as they wrapped up the period all knotted up. If you look at the second quarter scoring, they had a small edge. They really hung tough as we got close to halftime. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. Well, I think to shoot a high percentage, your offense has to be in sync. And in the first half, those guys were sharing the basketball, playing for each other. Now it becomes a matter of being consistent at it. And Shaq, your thoughts on the Celtics. Well, they had a hard time scoring inside. In fact, their offense was run almost exclusively along the perimeter. A lot of jumpers. That's too predictable. You got to mix it up. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See everybody with Kevin Harlan. Welcome back, everybody. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first half. On the floor for Boston. Filling out the wings, it's Brown and Hayward. Horford is out there with Tatum, and it's Irving at the one spot. Now, here's Brown. After the miss from Contavious Caldwell Pope. And there's the call on James. That is his first foul of the game. For three, Hayward. The rebound by Caldwell Pope. Very slack defending. Playing with fire to leave him that open beyond the arc. And the shot goes down. Such blinding speed on the drive. I mean, James is a force of nature when he's on the attack. Now, here's Irving. In the corner, it's Hayward. No good on the triple. Lakers leading by four. And a wide open look for Rondo. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. And this is where you milk the clock. You're exactly right. No reason to give your opponent another crack at this. It's all you. McGee, the pass to Ingram. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Well, the goat watch continues. Every year, every accomplishment goes into the analysis. I mean, LeBron will probably never be able to see that. Lakers shooting their first free throws of the night right here. Only 71% from the line last season. And rest assured, they're hoping to bring those numbers up this year. free throw no good 
And really, even at this stage of his career, James just seems ageless. He continues to dominate night in and night out. And the second free throw, good. Second half just getting started, about a minute played. Here's Morris, kept alive, Tatum. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. And what you love about Tatum is that scoring gene, but with the efficiency, both from the field and the line. This is his first chance at the line tonight. And he knocks down the first one. Yeah, Tatum plays with a lot of confidence. He feels like he can take on anyone and already proving to be a great leader at his age. And so he hits both. As confident as it gets at the line. He wants to be up there in the tight ball. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. Lakers lead by three. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Yeah, he put it on the platter, and it was served cold. Now, I love the poise, the decisiveness. This is how you run an offense. Welcome back as we get rolling once more. The fourth quarter right ahead in what's been a very well-contested game. LeBron James is out there with Kyle Kuzma. Then there's Lonzo Ball. Then it's Lance Stevenson, and it's Hart in at the two spot. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Picked away. Now the Lakers on the break. Ball's running. It falls. Exceptional decision maker in transition situation. Boy, he's so awesome at reading the floor. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. They're behind by five. There's 39 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? And they need to use as little time as possible here. If they can get a bucket before the clock hits 24 seconds, they can try for a stop on the next possession. If there's less than 24, then they'll have to foul. JaVale McGee's check-in for Lance Stevenson. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, guys. Well, I was able to listen in on what Brad Stevens was talking about with his players. He talked about X's and O's, but he also said, hey, guys, we got to trust each other, stick together, and leave it all out on the floor. We'll see if they've got enough left to get over the top, Kevin. And now they are probably too far ahead. It's going to be nearly impossible to get back in this one. That's why you can't Start. let yourself get in this deep a hole. Very little time now to climb up. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're trailing by seven. 29 seconds left here in the fourth quarter.
presentation of our Jordan player of the game, LeBron James. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. That has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. He sure has given this crowd a treat tonight. This kind of performance only cements his status as a fan favorite. Twenty-four seconds left in the game. Boston, no good that time either. And the Lakers can just let the clock run down here. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter, and that's an intentional foul. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. One shot, gentlemen. And with Hayward, you get a little bit of everything. The scoring, the passing, the rebounding. I mean, an all-around threat. Sixteen seconds left to play in the final quarter. Out left to the wing. Brown outside. Boston, no good that time either. And now we've got the intentional foul. Pass to McGee. Here's Kuzma. The shot comes out, and so the Lakers take the win. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Hey, LeBron, congrats on the win. What do you think made the difference tonight? Uh, defense. We made our mark defensively. We understand that for the long term, we have to defend at a high level. We've been doing it. It does start at that end, LeBron. Congrats again. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. And we'll see you next time.